Hello guys, this is Mr. Valencia. I wanted to make another video um, discussing some of the tech tools that I have been using during distance learning that I found most helpful and effective. So today I wanted to talk about assessment. So one of the tools that I'm using for assessment is Delta Math. If you're not familiar with the site, the link is provided is deltamath.com. So it can be used for formative assessment or summative assessment. I'm using it more for formative assessment and I'm gonna show you how. So the very first thing that we need to do or that you need to do is you need to go to deltamath.com and you need to create an account. So when you go to the site, uh, on the right side, there's the option to create account. You are going to click in there and then you're going to click on teacher. Um, after you click on teacher, you're going to fill in some information and that is it, you have an account. Uh, it's very uh, user-friendly and very intuitive to use. So after you have created your account, you're going to log in into your account so that you can set up your classes. So once you log in into your account, this is like what the menu will look like. And under tools, you're going to click on tools. The very first option is manage students and classes. So you're going to click in there and you're going to set up your classes. You can set up your classes by the name, by section, by the period of the day. And at this point, all you're doing is setting up the classes so that the students can enroll in them later on. Okay, so after you set up your classes, it is very important that you get your teacher code. So in the Delta Math menu, once again, under tools, the second option is login and school information. So when you click in there, you're gonna see your name, you're gonna see your login information, which is probably gonna be your email and a teacher code. So the teacher code is a six digit code. So like, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six that you need to give your students so at this point you have your account you have set up your classes and you know your teacher code so you are going to direct students to the website so the students now have on step four they're going to create an account so the process is very similar they're going to go to delta math create account and they're going to click on student now as soon as they hit student Delta Mat is going to ask them for the teacher code. So th that is the teacher code from step three. So they're going to provide that code in here. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. And then they're going to see your name. They're going to see the name of their teacher. And then they're going to be able to uh, fill in their information. And they're also going to, they're also going to be able to enroll in the in their class. Okay, so at this point, you have your account, you have your classes, and now you have students enroll in the classes. Um, if you go back to your classes, you'll be able to see like how many students have enrolled in each class, uh, just to make sure that they enroll in the, in the right class. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna be able to do is you wanna be able to create an assignment. So under on the menu, there is create and edit. So if you click in there, the very first option is create standard assignment. So if you click on standard assignment, it's going to give you three, three tabs, three options. So the first one, you're gonna write general information about the assignment, like the name of the assignment, uh, select the classes. This is particularly helpful if you have, uh, like for example, two sections of geometry, three sections of algebra, because then you can assign the, the assignment that you're creating to those classes. Um, the due date, it's not in pretty self-explanatory, is that you're gonna choose a, a, a date when it's due. You can, you can change it later on. Uh, and then the skills, this is very cool because Delta Math has all these pre-made skills. Uh, they're broken down by like pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, algebra two. Uh, so you're gonna pick whatever skills you wanna you wanna let your students practice, and then once you hit the the, the plus, is going to take that skill into your assignment. Um, once the students start working on the assignment, or once they finish, you can go and look at how they did. So you can look at student data. Um, you could break this down by like how they did by performance or by class. And then you can see how they did in every single one of the, so like each, each one of these is a skill. 
Okay, so you can see how they did in every scale and how they did overall. Uh, in addition to like performance, Delta Mat also will tell you things like when was the last time that they logged in, uh, where they logged in from. So there's a lot of information that you can use. Now, I want to show you um, some of the features that I really, really like. So this is what a question might look like. So here, student is solving a quadratic equation by factoring. Uh, and then on this box, they're going to input the solution. So when the student inputs the solution, it's going to tell them right away whether they're right or wrong. So it provides immediate feedback, which is very helpful, especially now during distance learning. Um, the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is it says show solution. So if the student is confused, they don't know what to do, they can click on show solution and is not only going to show them the solution to the problem, but step by step instructions in how to get there. Now, the other thing that I really, really like is the video. But the hell video is only available for Delta Math Plus, which I will recommend. It's very good. Um, so they have in addition to the solutions, they also have an instructional video. They could have an instructional video, which again could be very powerful during distance learning. So I hope that this video was helpful and thank you for watching.